guys want to see it's retwist and talk please stay tuned all right y'all who lord i haven't been on here in a minute um i know i did a shorts with the jump rope and i haven't done that in a minute but anyway we're just gonna get into it first of all i will be using the lock twist and braid gel by sulfur eight this is my first time using this i was scared to use this i've been purchased this probably like a few months ago and never tried it so i'm gonna try it today don't come for me this is another product we we know this okay we know how we do okay past product junkie you, you still you still need this little fix sometimes okay but it's all good but anyway i digress so we just gonna catch up and do what we do and that's about it and blah, 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 blah. my nails not painted i took my nails off put some um put some um, oil on them and then took a shower or oh, walked lovey let the oil sit in and stuff like that then took a shower washed my hair i did wash my hair with the Oli. uh y'all know i recorded that before Oli um clarifying your mane and then i also followed up with the ginger shampoo that i talked to you about you guys about and then i followed up with the conditioner with the venom so that was my wash day. Three things. I was going to use VO5 clarifying, but I'm like, no. Let me just use the Oli clarifying main. I forgot I had that. Okay, I was looking through my stuff, my stash. I was like, okay, I forgot I had this. And then I was like, oh, and I was going to record. But I was like, didn't I do a wash day with this? And so I had to go back to my video. See, this is why <laughs> being a YouTuber is good because I probably would have. So I was um, I was looking. I was like, oh, I recorded that already. I'm not, I'm not doing that again because recording shower scenes y'all is not fun nobody got time for it. okay let's get into it okay all right so i don't know where my other rectal comb is this the tip broke here so we got this comb this is old i don't know my other one i, I got like four combs and i don't know what it yet i like the one with the metal part but this might be a little bit better and safer because you know the metal part could be a little you know whatever whatever so yeah so anyway this is the retwist and talk how y'all doing you guys know how i do I always do like most of it first so the video won't be too long it'd be like about 20 minutes and plus um it's, it's just too much going on you know i'll be trying to concentrate and get in the back and stuff like that so i already did all my partings and everything for this part so this will be a little bit quick um so yeah so that's basically about that so yeah y'all so what are y'all doing how's everybody i hope all is well um to y'all that have been following my vlogs i got a new job okay um i had another job but that job is um null and void okay i don't i don't i'm not talking about that i'm still dealing with some stuff with their job and it's just like ugh. so um yeah it's a whole bunch of mess but um i just thank god that i'm out of that and that i am doing better and as far as like job wise um this is a really good job as you guys know i work like in a um like hospital well yeah i wear scrubs um well i'm not in the hospital part i'm like in the satellite part of it and it's in a town that's nice okay the satellite part and it's quiet over there so i really do like it and um i basically you know do you know stuff for the office and stuff like that a lot of administrative work billing and stuff like that so i really do like it a lot the people are nice um that's a plus you know um the staff is nice the nurses are nice and stuff like that and it's pretty cool and the the lady that's training me she's nice um and stuff like that i've been taking a lot of notes and things of that sort and um this is one of the biggest hospitals in jersey um and um this part of the hospital what have you just merged with um collabed with a bigger part of uh organization that they have and it's like so if you guys live in jersey y'all know that kind of pinpoint which hospital i'm talking about but i'm not gonna say it here okay but um you know and um the hospital been through so many names so if y'all know okay been through so many names and i was actually born at the hospital not that hospital but when it was a different name back in the day and um so that's basically about that so to those of you that are from jersey and you know a little bit of jersey history um of the area that i'm um talking about then y'all know um but yeah so i've been through different names I think I've been through like two or three names or something like that. But yeah, so anyway, I digress. So, um, yeah, so basically that's about it. So that's what I've been doing. Um, so I'm only working four days out the week. It was 
three days, but I had to get some calculations because I am doing part-time at the moment. I'm on probation, so um, I'll be full-time soon, so I'm not even, I don't care, it's cool, you know, I'm not even worried about it because I needed, I needed a job, and, you know, and um, by the grace of God, and, you know, people, um, you know, that you know, or whatever the case is, um, was able to, you know, get me in there and I was able to get myself in there um everybody was impressed with my resume and stuff like that so um that's basically it about that so you know don't want to sound conceited but you gotta you know hype yourself up you know hype 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 me up <laughs> um yeah that's from tiktok but anyway um <laughs> um but that's about it um what else is going on with me um not too much. Uh, the health is good. Um, you guys know I did take the um, booster shot. I had to. I'm in the hospital. There's like so many shots I have to take. And I think I have to take another one. I hope I don't have to take the flu shot. Okay, so... Yeah, so anyway, so... Um, so what happened? Alright, so yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm about to go um, chill with my boyfriend so I'm off today and um yeah so I'm off today and um so my new schedule or my new that I discussed with them to do Monday through Thursday because the hours wasn't adding up to 30 hours because I'm part-time so um so the way I did it like that it, um Monday through Thursday and I have Friday Saturday Sunday off I always had weekends off but instead of being off every other day Monday Wednesday Friday it's just like uh you know you go to work get off or go to work it's like like back and forth so I was like I'll just do the Monday through Thursday and then be off Friday Saturday Sunday which is a bomb schedule it before so I was like yeah so that's what's up I have a feeling that I will be um full time soon um because yeah and I'm going to think positive and know that I will know the job it's a lot of new, new stuff that I have to learn and things of that sort um a lot of codes and everything and things going on or whatever so um, I know I have to learn a lot of stuff or whatever so um that's about it so I'll be getting acclimated to that um, but it's not that far from my house either. Okay. It's about like 10 minutes. All right. And the traffic is bomb. Ain't no traffic. Okay. Um, I usually leave my house like around 740. So sometimes I do begin there like five minutes early and stuff like that. Parking. I don't have to pay for parking. Okay. When I was at the hospital, I had to pay for parking or whatever. $10 to be in the garage. But then they were saying if you work eight to four, you can't park there or whatever. But you could just park there. I mean, you just have to pay or whatever. But I guess they just saying they need room for other people, I guess, you know, or whatever that comes to the hospital because they said it was too crowded and, um, you know, so the workers, you know, but after one thirty, you could park there. So I'm like, ain't nobody doing no street parking. Cause how many times are you going to come in and out of, you know, um, the hospital to, um, put a quarter or whatever in the meter. So it's just like, no, like don't nobody got time for that. And then where are you going to park around the corner? And you know, like, please. And in, in the neighborhood that is in, it's just like, no, I'm not walking around. No, 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 no. I'm glad I don't work no night shift or nothing like that. But still, it's just like, ain't nobody doing that. You know what I mean? So, um, um, cause we was getting our parking validated, like for orientation. Cause I work, um, I, we got paid for orientation. So orientation started on the 19th, I believe, or the 18th, 19th. Yeah, the 19th, and I got paid that whole week or whatever, so I was there that whole week, so orientation was Monday through Thursday, and no, Monday through Wednesday, and then Thursday and Friday, we was able to, um, um, you know, I was still able to, to be, to be there, Thursday, I got my parking ticket, um, validated because there was a mix-up, okay, um, we went to orientation, but it wasn't orientation for us, it was me and another young lady had, that had got mixed up, and we was like, what, you know, so I got there at 8.30, and then I swiped in, you know, whatever like that, and then, um, I went upstairs or whatever, and told, you know, my manager, the nurse manager that got mixed up, stuff like that, whatever, so she's like, since we're, I'm here, um, stay here, and then you'll start in the, in the, uh, the satellite next week or whatever, so that's what happened, um, it's very hectic in the hospital, 
hospital and I like where I'm at now. Um, hopefully I don't have to do no coverage over there, nothing like that. If I do just, just like a little coverage, temporary, nothing like permanent because where I'm at, I like it. Okay. It's very quiet and they don't have, they didn't have anybody there, you know? So, um, that's why I said I, I'm definitely going to be full time. Okay. Very, very soon. Once my probation is over, um, they're going to be like, full time. <laughs> So, yeah, so, and you got to put that into existence because if not, then, you know what I'm saying? So, you got to stay, you know, not, how about I say gullible? You got to stay uh, positive. You got to do what you're supposed to do and things of that nature. Okay, so, that's about it. So, yeah, so, that's what I've been up to. That's what I've been doing and, um, you know, chilling, you know, my personal life, you know, chilling with my boyfriend and you know, uh, family, walking lovey and stuff like that and whatever, whatever. Oh, okay. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, lovey is good. Um, his kennel cough is good. Um, he is good. He finished all his bi antibiotics, um, last week or last Tuesday. So he's fine. Um, he hasn't been coughing or anything like that. Thank God. Okay. I've been praying and stuff like that because that's scary, you know, when something happens like that or whatever. So yeah. So, Lovey is back to normal or what have you, okay? So, yeah. So, as you guys know, Lovey has, like, a thing under his neck. It's like a, a goiter or what have you. And it's like a little, like, sack thing or whatever. And a lot of people be saying, like, oh, is that a tumor? Is that a... Get out of here. Bro, I just want to say, mind your freaking business. That's what I want to say. Mind your business. Okay, nobody asks you. Obviously, there's nothing wrong with it. Obviously, he's fine, okay? If there was something wrong, what, we just going to walk around here and ignore the fact that that's there? No, we done been to the hospital. We done went to one of the big hospitals in New Jersey. We done did blood work. That cost thousands of dollars. Nobody got time for that. And anyone to do surgery was costing more more than 1000 or $2,000. So, like, we done did, did it all. He is non-cancerous. It's fine. He he can breathe, okay, he can eat, he still act like lovey, okay, he had this for a long time, okay, going over like three or four years or whatever, so it's like, I hate when people, like, that, that just gets under my skin, it's just like, bruh, why do, you, why do people automatically jump to the negative, oh, is that a tumor? I know tumors can be, uh, what is it called, benign or not, you know, um, you know, not cancerous or whatever, because it's, it's not, so it's just like a little sack or whatever, Like, why, 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 why people got to jump to that? I mean, the person is nice and all, whatever like that, but I guess she meant no harm, but still. And then somebody else says something, is that a, that's the first thing. The next time somebody says something, I'm like, mind your business. I don't have to sit there and tell you, sir. First of all, I don't know you, okay? The, the, one, the other person that asked me, I was like, I don't know you. I wanted to say I don't know you, or I should have said mind your business, or not say nothing at all. Like, get out of here, because people are crazy these days, so whatever. But the other person was like, my neighbor or whatever but it's just like i know you already showed your concern because she's nice she's nice with him whatever but it's just like still just like bruh okay she don't watch my youtube channel so i hope <laughs> but um i'm just saying like it's just like like my business but again she probably meant no harm and was just concerned or whatever but thank you for your concern but at the same time um we got this under control like um, I worry, okay, when things be going wrong or things be happening, I be worrying, okay, I, I could worry myself, I, I lose, when I worry and stress, I lose weight, I don't gain weight, I lose weight, okay, I done lost 15, 20 pounds because of stress, okay, so, um, yeah, I don't gain weight, I don't be eating nothing, I, I don't, I don't be hungry or nothing, so, um, I'm not saying, oh, I need to be stressed more, but that's, that's the bad way to lose weight, <laughs> that is a bad way to lose weight, so, um, but yeah, so, um, what else I was going to say? Yeah, so, um, that's about it. Like, um, yeah, so, yeah, lovey is fine. Lovey is fine. So, like I said, I understand people concern and stuff like that, but, but, I uh, know, and people that, that be, like, just nosy, that don't, don't even know you, like, I just want to tell them to be quiet or, you know, or just, like, don't say nothing. Like, you know, so the next time, like, if somebody asks me, you know, because people be, but why, why are people so nosy like that? If I saw a dog with a thing under their neck or something wrong, well, they probably got a hunchback. I'm not asking because for what? Why? Well, what am I going to do to fix it? Nothing. So why? You're just being nosy. That's all. You're being nosy. 
<laughs> like what like i'm sorry but i'm not that nosy like i'll be one to know certain things but it's just like it is not my place to do any not, not my place to say anything because what am i going to do for you okay what am i going to do for you are you going to pay the bill for him to have surgery are you going to pay three thousand or better to get the surgery done i don't think so so please be quiet okay let's be quiet so the next time somebody now i know they're gonna be like oh she being a you know she be <laughs> she being a b but I, I i should see to see what their reaction is oh was that a tumor do you have the money do you have three thousand dollars or better to get this removed if not then mind your business and let's see what they say <laughs> because it's just like bruh like nobody asked you but anyway so lovey is fine like i, I don't know it's just my dog what if that was your dog would you like people asking you if that was a tumor like come on like get out of here we're trying to keep positive vibes over here and you come over here talking about tumor get out of here you know, you try to keep positive vibe, try to say lovey is healthy and all this other stuff. And you got people over here is automatically jumping the gun to that. Like, keep your mouth shut. So, yes, I had to see if that was the parting. You know, I do worry about the parts when I'm like, you know, doing when I'm parting my hair. But I mean, um, when I'm doing my locks. But after that, I'm done with the parting. So I'm not like, I'm not like a perfectionist where to where I have to have the parting all the time because hair is going to get frizzy and it's not going to stay in these parts. But I just like to take the time to, you know, part it and show the parting when I first do it because it's a fresh retwist. But to keep it that way, it's fine. It don't have to stay like that. Okay. I'm cool with it. Okay. Um, so I'm not one of those, you know um people like that about locks and stuff like that because if it's like that it's like that you know so i'm not about i'm not about that you know so um i never been about that um the frizz the frizz is gonna come i don't care about the frizz or whatever it's just there um i kind of like it better when it gets frizzy because um it shows like the thickness of your hair and the new growth and stuff like that so um, I kind of like that or whatever. So, oh, excuse me. Sorry about that rant about lovey. No, I'm not even sorry. That's, that's, that's my dog. Okay. Um, you know, like people just be doing the most, but I mean, I understand people probably be concerned and stuff like that, but it's just like, I, I would never just jump the gun and, and say that to somebody because you know, that could make somebody nervous or anxiety go up when you asking them something. And, and, and you know, when, when you hear tumor, when people hear tumors, that's, you know, that sounds, you know, that's cancerous and stuff like that. So it's just like, you know, like get out of here. I mean, I don't even, I'm even scared for that. Cause I forgot what the lady said, but it was something what she said and it's kind of scared me. So I was like, no, we're just going to leave it there. And plus it was too much money. So it was just like, he's fine. And we always go to the doctor all the time. And the doctor um, keeps an eye out for it and stuff like that. Anything, you know, with lovey that's like out of the ordinary, we take him to the vet. It's not like we ignore anything, you know, when stuff be happening, like when he had the kennel cough and, you know, when he, um, you know, anything, because Lovey always go on, be going on antibiotics. And um, so, like, you know, with his foot, his paw, and stuff like that, and, you know, whatever. It's like, we don't take any chances. It's just like, we don't just, you know, ignore anything. So, we be up to date with Lovey. So, it's just like, get out of here. All right, like, somebody just sitting here ignoring. And that's another thing. Like, ain't nobody just sitting here ignoring the fact that that's under his neck. We, we checked that out already. You are way late any other questions you know what i'm saying that's another thing i'm gonna say we checked that out already it's fine any other questions you know what i'm saying matter of fact no ain't no other questions just keep it moving you see what i'm saying like <laughs> it's just like people some people just i don't know but like i said people they probably mean well but at the same time it's just like oh <laughs> fake nail got stuck on you <laughs> Because I had my fake nails um, right here doing the swatches. And I had like the clay, the sticky clay thing. Y'all see when y'all see the video. I don't know if it'll be up before this one. It might be up before this one because 
Um, I did that video first, and I'm almost done editing it. So, um, yeah, that's about it. But anyway, I digress. But yeah, so, oh yeah, so Diva Trust sent me an email um, the other day or yesterday. Um, I be skeptical sometimes with these emails because I be thinking it's not them or whatever like that. But I had to go back to like my old emails to see how it looked or how they presented themselves because they were spelling a little bit stuff wrong. So maybe they was just, you know, trying to type fast or whatever. So, but um, they sent me confirmation and saying that they were sending me the wigs and stuff like that. So um, I um, I gave them four options and they picked two. So they're going to send me two wigs so i'm just reviewing them um, i'm not gonna wear them i'm probably gonna get one of them i'm gonna get one of them to um um to my sister because um she asked asked for it so i told her i'm only gonna wear it one time anyway so i'm just reviewing it <laughs> and so that's about it so um yeah so i just like you know trying new things and um you know because i'm not gonna wear the wig because i love my locks but sometimes i like to see you know a difference and sometimes it's always it's, it's good not always good but sometimes it's good to see you know what a wig will look like you know a hairstyle will look like on you you know since you had the locks for a minute and stuff like that but um i'm gonna try it um since my locks are still you know i could still stuff them under some some um whatchamacallit so I'll go to a birthday party that my um one of the young ladies that I used to praise dance with, that I praise dance with, um, well, well used to, um, she, cause she don't praise dance anymore. I haven't praised dance in a minute either, but, um, I'll be back soon. It's just, you know, but anyway, um, she's having a birthday. So my boyfriend and I are going to go to that. I'll probably record some stuff, vlog some stuff or whatever. And, um, so we're going to go to that and that's on a Saturday, October 8th. And I should have waited to twist my hair but I'm like no because I needed to twist my hair I needed to wash my hair my hair was in need of a washing I didn't wash it all month and it's not good so I'm like today is the 30th so I need to wash my hair <laughs> so um so I'm mean, at uh today's the 29th I said the 30th Lord okay today is the 29th so um yeah, so that's about it. Um, so yeah, so they're gonna send me a wig. They sending it today. They shipped it today already. So um, cause I got back to them and I went to look at the website, and um, I was gonna look at the website last night, but I was too tired. So um, I looked at it this morning and I sent them, you know, the styles that you know whatever. So they picked the two styles, and those are the ones that I kind of wanted. So. Um, yeah, so y'all guys are gonna see that, so I'm happy for that, and then, um, yeah, so I don't know how long this is gonna dry, probably gonna be, like, about an hour, I will go under the dryer so it will dry quicker, so I might do that, and, um, because I'm going somewhere, so, um, yeah, I'm always, um, twisting my hair at, you know, not the wrong time, but, like, you know, when I have to go somewhere, <laughs> But, I um, mean, yeah, the only thing I don't like about this, I'm going to say this in my review, is that this is a squeeze tube. Why did I put it in a jar? But I think it's better because, you know, you don't get a lot of, you know, um, stuff in there. Like, you know, hair and stuff like that. So, I guess it's, you know, it's better because it's, like, more cleaner. Like, you don't have to, you know, dip your finger in and out of it. So, I guess for that part. But I'd rather the jar because I'm used to that. And it's better, so... Yeah, this lock, <laughs> this lock needs to grow. I'm so tired of this lock being so small, but I think it's growing, though. It's growing, though. It's growing. I need to stop underestimating it because it is growing. It is growing. Because y'all remember it was smaller than this before, so, um, yeah, so. Hopefully my hair dries fast, probably like an hour, 45 minutes. I might speed up the process in a little bit, so yeah all right oh god that wasn't good okay okay all right all right y'all so i'm done <sighs> that is my locks oh snap okay oh, okay i had to put two on there so we could like lay flat a little bit okay all right so this is it these are my locks this is it um, they don't stick up everywhere like it used to remember back in the day. Not well, not back in the day, but when I first started, 
they were just sticking up everywhere um I just I got a lot of little locks in the back and stuff like that from me playing around in my locks and twisting them and twirling them and stuff like that but they're slowly growing back like this little one this this was like way small it was way it was way up here so now it's it's catching up so it's right here now so it's really catching up um so all my locks are growing very nicely um oh yes i was an african hair god chat the other day um and um yeah he said i had beautiful locks if y'all don't know african hair guy he been on here for ages and um so yeah so shout him out um he's cool or whatever so yeah so that's about it so yes i hope y'all like my locks i hope y'all like the retwisting talks i know i'll be taking a minute to come out here and do them but you know life happens and stuff like that oh i gotta give y'all a school update um i'm still in school okay <laughs> that ain't gonna wear but i'll be starting back up in january i believe i spoke to them a couple weeks ago and i told them so i just want to get myself you know um acclimated with work and stuff like that see how the flow of the schedule is and since my permanent schedule is monday through thursday eight to four so i got that down packed already so i just want to you know have my mind a little bit clear for work and then you know then i'll add on you know the school part or whatever so let so i can see what's going on so i, I would have started back in november but I'm like, no, let me just give time for the work or whatever. And then, you know, so I should be out of probation by that time and know, like, a lot of the things that I didn't know now. Um, I'll be very, like, swift with a lot of things. Routine will come in. And so once I bring in school, I should be Gucci. So, yeah, so bring back school, I'm saying. <laughs> um yeah, so that's basically about that. So that's where I'm at with school and everything. And, um, oh, yeah, I was going to tell y'all more about a little bit about the booster that I took. I took the bivalent one, the the updated one, because I haven't taken the booster when I was supposed to, which was a year ago. And it took me a year to take it. I'm glad I kind of waited because I probably would have had to take another one because um, they put up um, like in a po on a poster saying that the employees had to get the bivalent one, which was the updated booster. But I don't have to do that because um, I basically waited it out and i'm glad i waited it out um god was watching me and was basically guiding me basically so um but the only reaction that i had was in the arm area right here and it was just like it swelled a little bit so i was doing the ice and the alcohol the ice and the hot, um, um warm compress my mom's a registered nurse, so she was telling me to do that. Alcohol on it all the time. Whole bunch of alcohol, 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 stuff like that. So now it's gone. I'm fine. My arm is good. It's not sore anymore. I'm good. I'm fine. Nothing else happened. No fever, nothing like that. I hope I don't have to take the flu vaccine. I'm in the hospital system, and it's just like, I do not want that, okay? But they, I was hearing that they had to get five employees to take the vaccine, so I just hope that I'm, I don't, I don't want to take that, okay? Hopefully, I could refuse, and it's not required, because I've never taken the flu vaccine. I don't want to take it. People say when they first took it. They was sick as a dog or they was sick and all this other stuff. I'm like, no. Last time I had the flu was like when I was like young or like probably like in my early 20s. I probably had like a certain flu or whatever like that. But that was it. It wasn't like other than that, I haven't had no sick flu like that ever. When I was like real young, young, younger than that, I had it to where my body was hurting and stuff like that. Yes, because like when I was um when I was younger, like real young, my whole body was aching. Like it was like, but that was a long time ago. So, yeah, so, and I, I have to get another, another shot or something, um, I don't know if it's the MMR or something, like, I'm, I'm like, bruh, they just stick me with everything, I, I had to get the tetanus shot, <sighs> I had to get the tetanus shot, booster shot, whatever, so, I'm tired, <laughs> this is, this is what happens when you work in the medical field and in the school field okay um there's a lot of shots that's mandatory it's annoying <laughs> okay but thank god my immune system is good my mother was saying the way i reacted to it that means my immune system is up to par like the way i reacted to it or whatever because some people got sick some people you know so she said um my immune system is good i take my vitamin c faithfully i make sure every day 500 milligrams especially now i'm in the hospital i'm like yeah i'm at least if i don't take some my vitamin d or whatever other vitamin at least i'm taking this vitamin c every day 500 milligrams okay so i gotta take it today i didn't take it today but i'm gonna take it today 
Uh, right after I get off of here, I'm taking it today. But that's about it. But yeah, so I'm gonna do more videos. I'm gonna come back with some more fragrance videos. I'm gonna say um, what's my favorite fragrance. So I've been looking at that now. Um, looking at not now, but I've been doing it before. But just to incorporate it in my videos, I'll be doing more vlogs. Um, I know I'm jumping all over the place, y'all, but I'm just gonna hurry up before I end this. Um, more nail videos. Um, a lot more nail videos and just um lock videos. I'm gonna do a review on this. Um, I showed you guys how I used it, and um, I'm gonna do a review on it um and come to you guys with this i want to do house of dragons review but y'all know the green screen it's a lot so they already on episode six i think i'm gonna do lord of the rings because i've been watching that my boyfriend introduced me to that so we're gonna do review that or whatever and um uh what else um I said a lot of videos, a lot of vlogs, stuff like that. I can't show y'all about work and stuff like that because um, they said somebody had got fired automatically. They was like, boom, fired because they showed something from a Christmas party they had. And, um, you know, and they just got fired. I don't know if they put it on TikTok or something because they even mentioned TikTok and stuff like that. I was like, I'm not taking any chances. I'm just going to drive, you know, to where, how I go, you know, driving to work. And then after I get off of work, and then that's it. That's all y'all going to see or whatever like that because I don't, don't want to see y'all. I don't want y'all to see where I work anyway. So I don't want it to be circulating or floating anywhere or whatever like that because my numbers are a little bit big and somebody see that and then they're gonna be like ow you're fired you're fired <laughs> you're fired <laughs> if y'all watch the office y'all know what i'm talking about but anyway let me get out of here i am done <clears throat> But thank you guys so much for your patience. Thank you so much. And I will continue to put out videos, more videos, and I'm um, like more beauty videos, skincare, um, whatever videos or whatever like that. Okay. So yes. Yeah, so um, all right. So yeah, that's about it. So um, I'm about to put some clear on my nails real quick and um, let my hair. Um, yeah, that's about it. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. If you have any questions, concerns, put it in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Peace. Thank you.